Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. And once again, looking like another active afternoon for us here. Live look from our Harrisburg Sky Cam, and it's already raining at this uh, time. In fact, the heaviest rain is getting ready to move in to the capital city right now, already just pouring uh, just west of you in Harrisburg at the, this point in time. 79 degrees with the latest check on temps with that rain coming down. Dew points are still in the 70s. Still very muggy and we still do have the potential for some flash flooding today. National Weather Service had uh, canceled the flash flood watch that we had yesterday last night and then reissued one again for today. So here is today's threat and here is the flash flood watch until one o'clock in the morning here as we go into the later parts of the evening. So again, another one of those days where there's rain chances pretty much all day long. We'll have one wave of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. You're seeing those go through right now. They will probably linger into about the mid afternoon and then it looks like another around later on into this evening. But again, some heavy rainfall right now. Mechanicsburg, you saw Corinne's live shot right there and it was just pouring at Jubilee Day in Mechanicsburg. Now, here's the good news. Back edge of that rain is getting ready to move toward Mechanicsburg, at least temporarily. But uh, there you go, the heavy rain moving in the direction of Lebanon. And just tell you what, Lebanon County just does not need any more rainfall after last night's heavy rain and the uh, water rescues that we did see. So again, some additional showers and thunderstorms. Uh, a pretty good bet here as we go into the afternoon hours. And then again, a second round later on this evening and into tonight. Currently, those temps are in the 70s and the dew points way up in the 70s as well. So very very humid air in place. So cl clouds and some sunshine here this afternoon and scattered storms around uh, pretty humid as well. Highs in the low to mid 80s. Some of those storms may try to get strong or maybe even severe with that damaging wind gusts being the primary threat from any storms today. Uh, but again, flash flooding also a possibility. Then into tonight, a few showers lingering, not as muggy. We'll see the winds changing direction more out of the northwest that will drive in some drier air and leads the way for a better day tomorrow, although we'll start with clouds and maybe a shower in the morning. I think it does get better for us later in the afternoon. And here is all that dry air dew points in the 50s up here near the Great Lakes, and that's what's headed our way to finally give us a break from uh, this uh, the humidity and the heavy rain chances that we've been seeing. But again, one more round of it here today. The center of our storm is back to the west. Some uh, showers and heavy downpours out ahead of it and could get on the strong side of things. Storm Prediction Center has our entire area in that slight risk for severe thunderstorms. So Predictor has, again, the initial wave of storms moving through within the next few hours. And then we get somewhat of a break before an additional chance of rain arrives later on this evening as the cold front goes through. And we could see a couple of showers still lingering into tomorrow morning once the front passes, but uh, we will see some improvements later in the day as high pressure starts to build its way in. That sets the stage for a pretty nice sat uh, start to the weekend, a nice Saturday ahead. Uh, looking good there. 80 for the high, pleasant weather. But again, a little breezy for you on uh, tomorrow, first day of summer. Sunday is looking good at this point. Plenty of sunshine, but a little more in the way of humidity. Some warmer temps too, with a chance of some showers and storms once again on Monday mm. and Tuesday. So today, you know, one of those days similar to yesterday, not everyone is going to see the heavy rainfall, but those that do potentially could have some flooding issues. So something to watch for today, that flash flood watch up the rest of today.